Today we will demonstrate the technique for grafting with bond bone, a revolutionary new synthetic grafting material comprising of medical grade biphasic calcium sulphate. Bond bone comes in two sizes, 0.5cc and 1cc, with separately sterile packed syringes in each box, including stickers for patient files. For further information, product brochures and literature, please contact MIS Australia on 1300 724 410. Items you will need for this procedure are a syringe filled with sterile saline or sterile distilled water with a two and a half inch needle, ideally a flat drawing needle, though any long needle is fine. You'll also need sterile gauze and possibly a periostal elevator. The best technique for mixing and using bond bone comprises of only three very important steps, which when followed, give the perfect consistency for placement and subsequent setting. Take the syringe from the sterile packaging. The first very important step is to ensure that the bond bone powder is mobilized. You do this by holding vertically and flicking the syringe a number of times until you see the powder is freed and moving. The second very important step is to ensure that the sterile saline or sterile distilled water is pushed through the entire graft. Remove the first small cap and place a drawing needle as far through the powder as possible, ideally to the back of the plastic bond bone plunger. If necessary, plunge the saline with one hand and retract the bond bone plunger with the other, creating a vacuum. If you are having trouble wetting the bond bone at the back of the syringe, partially close the bond bone plunger, removing some excess fluid and replace the needle and use the needle as a mixing device. The amount of fluid is not important just that all of the bond bone powder is wet. Once the powder is fully wet, plunge the excess fluid from the bond bone syringe into the gauze until you feel light resistance against the plunger. This third very important step is not to apply excessive pressure when expelling the surplus fluid as this will set the graft material and it will either not come out of the syringe or come out as a pellet. When you remove the second cap from the bond bone syringe, if appropriate pressure has been applied, there should be a droplet of fluid on the tip. Dab this dry with your sterile gauze. Liberally apply the graft material to the defect. There is no need to compress the graft, just fill the entire defect area, allowing 20 to 30% extra material. When the defect has been filled, place dry gauze over the graft until it is set. This may take a few minutes depending on the site. Remove the gauze once the graft is set and apply wet gauze to perfectly set the periphery of the graft. Once set, it will hold its shape and ready to suture over. Bond bone does not require the use of a barrier membrane as it is soft tissue cell occlusive. Bond bone is the only osseoconductive, hard setting bone graft available in Australia. It is bacteriostatic, biocompatible, bioabsorbable and readily available. Once set, it is nanoporous to allow vascularization. The nanopores grow as the material resorbs to allow bony ingrowth. It does not contain animal tissue. Full primary closure is not necessary and encourages quicker healing and bone growth. Thank you.